Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. This is Luca Torijani, and today I want to talk to you about imposter syndrome. Now, I hear you say, oh, another one talking about this topic. Yes, it is a hot topic, and I want to talk to you about it in the context of creativity. Generally speaking, um, imposter syndrome are fear-based thoughts that come to our head that tells us that we are not, you know, we're inadequate, we're a fraud, and people are going to discover it. In the context of being a designer, we are constantly comparing ourselves to others and we're saying to ourselves, we're not good enough, we're not original enough. Well, there is a saying, right, that tells us that we are as good as the last project that we did. So it's quite normal that when we start something anew that we are, you know, in a little bit of a self-doubt state. But here is a few things I want you to start thinking about when you feel inadequate. First of all, I want to demystify something. Good design is not necessarily award-winning design. If your design is not chosen by the client, the boss, or the research, that doesn't mean it that your design is not good. Go back to the role of you as a designer, which is to answer a brief correctly, you know, create something that solves the problem and communicate effectively. And if you've done that, then your design is worth it. Your design is good. It's good maybe just for yourself, for your portfolio. Collaboration, we don't do enough of that. I feel that, you know, a healthy competition between agencies and between our group, it's, it's good. But when we start really fighting and we're saying my idea versus your ideas, then I think it's not, it's not healthy. And because it's blocking us from really achieving our potentials. So collaborate more with your people around you, with maybe some colleagues that are not on your project, brainstorm with them, engage with the community, go to conferences, because the more you talk to your fellow creatives, the more realize that fear is a common feeling that we all have and that we can help each other. We've talked about AI a couple, a few weeks ago, and that tells us really that this field is constantly changing and evolving and you have to keep up. Keep up with the trends, with the technology and uh, go back to school and learn new things because that knowledge is gonna help you when you're feeling a little shaky. And lastly, find a mentor. A mentor is a person that can help you uh, be a sounding board, can nurture your career and you don't have to start really high. You don't have to find the CEO of Google, just uh, find maybe somebody in your company who is a little more senior than you. Go back to a teacher that maybe you had a good report with. Find somebody that can help you along the way. Uh, and if you can, volunteer and help people. Be a mentor for someone because we need to give back in our community. Lastly, I wanna say that a little bit of self-doubt can help you, can pushes you to new direction and new heights. It's when our self-doubt becomes debilitating and blo it's blocking us from really doing the good work that we know we can do. That's the time we can need to start counteracting it with all the things that we've discussed today. I know you're talented. I know that you're very capable of what you're doing. And I wanted you to start thinking that as well. I want you to believe in your brilliance and go do brilliant things because I know you are capable of it. Let me know what you think about this and more content coming your way. Ciao for now.